So what is SHBG? And how do you read or tell if your SHBG is too high or too low? SHBG stands for sex hormone binding globulin. It's a protein. It binds to your testosterone. Most of the times when testosterone is bound to SHBG, you have very little free testosterone. In fact, a quick calculation is to look at sex hormone binding globulin, albumin, and total testosterone. And there's a formula that this goes into. You can find it at balancemyhormones.co.uk. We have a conversion tool that converts or calculates your free testosterone from albumin, testosterone, and SHBG to see how much leftover testosterone is free because it's the free testosterone that's doing most of the heavy lifting to make you feel better, to improve your libido, to improve your health, and to improve your metabolic state. Speaking of metabolic state, when your SHBG is too high, you end up with less free testosterone and you end up with what's sometimes called NASH, which is a, a metabolic condition, it used to be called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So when you have low SHBG, that's also related to metabolic syndrome, somewhat related to diabetes. Sometimes SHBG can be very low because someone was using anabolic steroids, which drove down the SHBG that's far too low to be normal. And there may also be some genetic variances where some people have naturally low SHBG. But overall, SHBG is a guide to knowing if your testosterone is going to be free, optimally free or not free. And speaking of free, why not check out our YouTube channel where we have loads of free information all about hormone optimization, testosterone, optimization and all things with health and wellness.